God always goes to meet us. Sometimes we are not where God is to meet us. Hello my beloved, the peace of the Lord Jesus. A pleasure, a great joy to have you here with me, on the Close to God channel. God never missed the meeting. He will always be where He called us to be. We are the ones who need to put ourselves in this position to find Him. I want to talk about it in this video. Before you watch, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell there to receive notifications. I always want to release a word to bless your life. I want to share with you a text in Genesis, chapter 3, verse 8, which talks about Adam and Eve after the first sin. The text reads like this, When the man and his wife heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden when the gentle wind blew, they hid from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. After Adam and Eve sinned, they missed their daily meeting with God. God was always there at dusk to meet them, to fellowship with them. But after the sin, they hid from God. But one thing I want to tell you is that God doesn't miss the meeting. God was not absent. It was the human being who hid from the Lord. Sin does this to us. It throws us a guilt, it throws us a feeling of distance from God and makes us miss the encounter with the Lord. God had placed human beings in the Garden of Eden. The word Eden means delight. That is, God created all things so that human beings can enjoy themselves. So that the human being can be in the presence of God in a way where our heart can rejoice in His presence. This is God's original design and this is God's design in Jesus Christ. It's restoring your delight in the presence of God, it's restoring your joy in being in the presence of God. But fellowship with God, beloved ones, it has a pattern. Communion with God is not our way, it is the way God lays it down. Back in Genesis chapter 2 verses 15 to 17 the Bible talks about that and talks about how the Lord had set a pattern for Adam and Eve to be in His presence in Eden. The Word says, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man of every tree and of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge, of good and evil, you must not eat, for in the day that you eat from it you will surely die. Notice here, beloved, that God gave ample freedom in the garden to Adam and to Eve, He placed only one restriction, one limit. Boundaries protect us. God was protecting the human being and at the same time giving him ample freedom. But human beings transgressed God's standard and wanted to establish their own standard. To walk with God is to walk in God's pattern. It is understanding what God loves. Understand what God wants from us. Understand God's will. There we are free and there we find delight, satisfaction in our own life. After Adam and Eve sinned, they hid from God. But God did not hide from them and God is not hidden. Beloved, God was revealed in Jesus Christ and is now in the Holy Spirit seeking fellowship with you, seeking fellowship all the time, trying to make an appointment with you. This meeting will bring delight to your heart. It will bring joy to your heart. After sin, Adam and Eve reaped the fruit of their attitude. It will always happen. Maybe you can be reaping the fruit of your past decisions today. This may perhaps be bringing bitterness, bringing a lack of pleasure into your life. But the Word of God is creative and restorative. The presence of God brings peace and relief to our soul. When you meet the Lord again, you will see that your valley of dry bones will turn into a garden again. God is powerful to do this. And God, at this very moment that I am speaking, He is there knocking at the door of the heart. Want to have communion with you, wanting to get closer to you, wanting to find you. Don't miss an appointment with God, because He will never miss an appointment with you. I want to pray for you now. Dear Father, Beloved Father, 
I want to pray for this person who hears me, I want to bless him in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to release from heaven, loving Father, in the name of Jesus. All joy, beloved Father, all the oil of joy upon his life in the name of Jesus Christ. May they delight in your presence, may they have her life restored, beloved Father, with you. May they be intimate with the Lord, hear your voice, be led by you to a new way of life, to a new existence, Lord, that may be according to your power according to your sovereignty and according to your love. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they live the fullness of your will for the honor and glory of your holy name. Amen. If you were blessed by this video, by this word, then I want to ask you something. Subscribe to our channel, activate the bell to receive notifications. Also spread this video. Share with the people you know, because God is after them too, as he is after you and wants to find them. A big hug. God bless you.